Hi guys, today I'm in Belgium and I'm in the port of Belgium. Uh, I am here because I'm going to meet my brother after two years that we haven't seen each other and um, he's working in the ship and it's a coincidence that he is uh, working, the ship is at the moment in Belgium. So from Rotterdam I travel here to meet my brother so I'm very excited because of yeah because this is also the first time for my brother to work abroad and to be away from the family and I know how it feels so I'm here to give my support and I'm very curious and excited as well to know how he's doing and just a few minutes he will come to to meet me here in the in the office of the of the ship where he works so yeah it's a quite a journey it's a quite a journey I think most of you can relate to my story uh, how you're being away from your family and to meet one of the members of your family in Europe or in, or in the other part of the country it's quite an experience and quite very excited so Guys, I was so excited to see you in flood and I was so excited to see Sige na si Maoni ang live sa live sa Antwerpen Antwerp Belgium mo de de iyang kuan iyang iyang cruise ship Oh iyang cruise ship Dako kay iyang cruise ship po baby to guys ko anak cargo cargo Kuhanin mo, first day ni mo dito sa barko, sa experience ni mo. Ate ka po yan eh, kanang magkaon ka, magtago-tago ka eh. Kati labay ay kaon. Oh, magtago-tago man ka. Mauha ko lang kaon, takit ako, kaon. Oh, mga gano'n naman na. Sige, padawin natin sa mong barko. Take me a tour, okay? This is the room for uh, for, for my brother. This is the this is his cabin. And yes, I am a guest for tonight. So they also have one extra room where I can sleep. But I decided I'd be here in this room together with my brother to catch up. We haven't seen two years. We did not see each other for two years. So yes, this is the life of a, a seaman. Hey Jing, how's your life here? It's good. Aside of a nice food. How's your life? Skill <laughs> get to see me. Good. Good food. But hard work. Okay. Do you miss your family? I miss, I miss your, my family so much. Your son? Are you okay, Lachin? This is the ship at night. And this is how it looks, night time in the ship, and tomorrow it's going to be loaded with the cargo. <coughs> Good morning. It's 6 o'clock here in Belgium, in Antwerp. Uh, I take the night here in the ship. I sleep here. This is the cabin of my brother so I sleep in his room 
and that's the couch where you sleep and this is where I sleep. It's a quite experience to be here in the ship and to be with my brother and to witness the, my fellow Filipinos who work here and uh, the crew are very very nice they welcome me they welcome me very warmly they treat you like a family here so it's still dark outside but uh, everybody now in the ship is getting ready for work and later I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna say goodbye to my brother and I'm wishing him well and hoping I will see him again next month Coral Reef, Great Log A mouse up in Wajid Good morning bro Philippines. <laughs> kila kuan kana na balaka usahay usah ko man lalayo man la pwede na mo bahala ka pwede masabot mo wait lang jikus kaon kaon ta kaon wala mo ron ito ng left dren trabaho ang taas ng bawa ang katuga dito unsa bali unsa may pinaka dak pinaka hard parts in mong work Di, sa trabaho na po, puro jud hard di Responsibility mo na kong Kuhan Kaya yung trabaho din eh Mga, mga Sagbukat, sa PC Tanan, alam mo naman lang yun yun Usa ko may suda na trabaho ha Kasi lagi naman na na Mga dyan na yung outcome sa mga trabaho Mga dyan na yung Possibility na may tabo hmm. Ayun, trabaho na kong sa iwan Ang gamping ka ha Oo, ikaw sa gamping Hi guys, I'm back again in Rotterdam after meeting my brother in Antwerp. And after saying goodbye to my brother, I felt very emotional because um, I did not see him for two years. And based on my personal experience, it's not easy working abroad, being in another continent and for a new environment. And I know it's tough. I'm there to give him my support and um, to encourage him that it is okay. Um, knowing this, that um, if you have family, you have brother or husband or friends working abroad as a seafarer, it is not milk and honey. It is a top job. It is a good opportunity to work abroad. But why did? But what they did in cargo ship, it's a tough, heavy job. It's a challenge for them to be in a good set of mind, even they miss their family, but they're doing this for their family and of course for, for their self. Uh, I am thankful for the opportunity that I've been there for a half a day and one night to spend time to my brother 
enable for me to understand an eye-opener about what is the life of a seafarer and what is the reality behind it. I see it, I saw it in my own eyes. I witness not everything, but enough to understand that this kind of profession is, it's a tough. I respect all of my kababayan or seafarers and to all of us who work in abroad, who've been away from our family, just to help our family for a better future, for not only financially, but of course, able to have a good life. But we have each other in the community to support, to give advice, and I'm just saying, just take care of yourself. And to my brother, I hope you're gonna be fine and I believe you're gonna be fine. For all my kababayan, just be strong and take an inspiration for your family and why you're doing this. And always put it in your heart, the love of your family and of course, the love for yourself. And um, yes, and I hope guys, you have, uh, yeah, you get insight with this video about how it is the life of a seafarer and uh, to have a little bit insight. Thank you for watching and um, I'm sorry if I'm being a little bit emotional but I think it's normal and give a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't subscribe yet and, and don't forget to push the notification bell so you get be notified for the next video. Thank you for your time. Till next time. Bye.